Rubber band mats are all the rage this year. It can dress up an otherwise boring toilet. But how do you make one yourself? Let's find out. Let's do some practice. The first knot will be simply at what I call a tie-off. Using one elastic, insert the end through the center and just kind of pull it gently. That's a simple one. Now we're going to go the what I call the lock loop. We're going to just simply insert an elastic end through the other two loose ends, effectively kind of tying it off and holding it in place. Let's do a bunch of those. You get used to holding an elastic and folding the ends all at the same time. We'll tie this one off as well. And now we have two. Let's make a third. And now I want to show you how we'll link these things together. Basically, we're going to put a larger elastic between each row. Let's see how to do that. We'll insert a larger elastic and then just give it a twist around to be kind of tight. Ouch. Fair enough. And now we'll lock this. And we'll just do a series of these lock loops. So we'll lock it once. We'll lock it again. And now we're ready to insert another link. Loop it over. Let go. And this is ready to be locked. Let's do a bunch of those. The fact that we're only putting one on it gives a nice edge to it. This is our first row. Now let's use a tie-off. We'll tie this loop off. In this case, we just insert it through the open loop, which will hold it. And now we're ready to start a new row. So in this case, the first thing we'll do is insert it through the entire loop. And now we'll put on a new, a new link. Let's lock that to hold it still. That's locked and in place. Let's do that again. And now we're ready to connect to the existing link in the first row. And we'll add a new link.
careful not to drop anything. Now we're just linking the two rows together. Let's lock that. Carefully holding it. Now it's held and now let's lock it again and continue on through the link in the previous row, adding a new link, and continuing. At the end, in this case, we'll simply just insert the end elastic through the loops to hold them in place. And now we're ready to start a new row. Same pattern into the link in the previous row and add a new one. And continue. always remembering to link into the previous row so that the rows stay connected. To tie it off again, just insert the end of the tie elastic through the loops to hold them in place. You can make this tie elastic longer by using a uh, tie knot to add a new length of elastic. And that is the mat developing. Thank you very much.